This is the big league. Oh, all right. Now that I have you here. Welcome back everyone. We're doing a hot cod sandwich today. One of my favorites. So we got some cod. We're gonna batter that and fry it up. And then we're gonna make some pickled pickles. So just pick, yeah, pickled cucumber. Um, some dill pickles that we're gonna be making and then a nice tartar sauce. And we're gonna throw it all together on a toasted brioche bun. Classic. Really excited for this one. It's gonna be tasty. And I'm excited to make these pickles. They take the longest, so we're gonna start with that. I love cucumbers and I love pickles. And I love you guys. The pickled pickles, I keep, I keep doing that. It's it's not pickled cucumbers, it's just they're called pickles. I got the dill pickles. We are gonna thinly slice our cucumber. So we're gonna put a nice half habanero in there. Keep the seeds in, and then we're gonna crush some garlic. About three or four cloves for this, just cause it's not that big of a jar. We're just gonna go one sprig of dill, so stuff that in. Couple peppercorns, little handful in there, and then our evenly, perfectly sliced cucumbers. Same process as last time, equal parts white vinegar and water. A large pinch of salt, of course. And you can use sugar or like a sweetening thing in here, but if you use too much, they'll turn into bread and butter pickles, which are just disgusting. Unequivocally gross. <laughs> Who likes those? I love the. Oh, well, you don't know what you're talking about. That's crazy. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> a little bit of brown sugar, not too much, like I said. Bring it to a boil. I got the YouTube blues. Anyway, thank you guys for being here for our fourth and final episode. It was a fun while it lasted. Appreciate you guys. It's just kidding. That's a joke. We're gonna do this until we die. Pickle brine's ready to go, so we can pour this over our pickles now. Oh, uh, we're doing all right. That's okay. Cap goes on. Boom. Look at that. That's beautiful, by the way. Refrigerator. Three hours. If you guys want to see funny vlog content, let me know. Also, let's do a Q&A. Ask me any questions that you want to know, and then we'll uh, answer them in the next video. So drop those in the comments, and we can chat about it. <laughs> Whatever you guys want to know. I'm an open book. We're making some tartar sauce. So we got some capers, some uh, chives, some more dill, a lemon, some red onion, and mayonnaise, and our dill pickles. We're not gonna have to salt this very much because the capers add a lot of salt and the pickles are pretty savory as well. So capers go in, we got our chives. A lot of chives into the bowl. Some of this dill. Everything's going in the bowl. And then our dill pickles. Just kind of diced up. So. Pour that in. Actual onion. Nice fine dice. I love doing that. A little handful of those in the bowl. Juice of like half a lemon. A nice juicy Meyer lemon here. Squeeze that in. Two heaping globs of mayo go into here. Mix that up. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Mix it like a Polaroid picture. Oh, there's our tartar. Tartar, tartar. Fresh cracked pepper. Seven to 15 turns. You got a taste for seasoning. Oh, that's really nice. I'm so proud of my sauce. Good job, good. Pat your back, pat it, pat it. Moving on, it's fish time. Sorry for pointing my knife at you. So we're gonna start with the batter. It's a wet batter. We're using vodka. I got a big bottle of vodka here and we're gonna use about 300 milliliters of that. We have more alcohol too. We're gonna use a cold beer. A nice, uh, I can't say the brand. No free ads, it's Corona. It's Corona, I was gonna do no free ads, but I don't think we're at that level yet. All right, that's what we got. Corona and basic. Where's my bowl? Here it is. I found it. I like to get a little bit quirky and zany. I'm a little twisted. Anyway. One cup of any kind of gluten-free starch, so I'm using almond flour, and one cup of all-purpose flour. One tablespoon of baking powder, right in there. About 250 milliliters of vodka. This is our secret weapon here. Alcohol evaporates quicker than water, so this is gonna create like some air pockets in the fish batter, and then when you fry it, it's gonna come out nice and like crispy and glassy and crunchy, real crunchy. 
So that's in there. Wanna see something sick? Sorry, I know that wasn't very cool. Bottle of beer goes in, they're like almost a full bottle. Not the whole thing. Whisk it until it's almost fully combined. There can be some clumps, that's all right. All right, there we go. And our cod fillets. Look at how beautiful these are. Man, oh man. So we're gonna season these up nicely. Kosher salt. All over, like that. Paprika. These are Nashville hot cod sandwiches, so we're using some spicy kinda ingredients with a kick a little bit. Some garlic powder, some cayenne. Okay, these are seasoned up. Um, while we let the oil heat, just, you know, this is good. You wanna let them kinda dry brine for a little bit. It'll give it a chance for all that seasoning to kinda soak into the fish. So let's throw all my pescatarians out there. Shout out to you guys, what's up? Mm. We're gonna season the wet batter with some Hank Salt Hank's chimichurri seasoning, which is available at salthank.com. Wow, who's that handsome man on the front of that label? It's me. A little bit of that. A lot of bit of that. Can never skimp too much on this. Tastes so good. Why would ya? Mix that in. All right, we're gonna thinly slice some cabbage. Nice thin. Look at that, beautiful. And this is just gonna add a little bit of freshness and some crunch to the bottom of the bun because we got so much fattiness. You're gonna deep fry so much stuff. You gotta have some greens. There's a salad on here now. Wee, we're healthy. Hot cod sandwich, it's fantastic. It's obviously like a spinoff of the Nashville hot chicken sandwich, but it's fish. And it's not like the filet of fish sandwich or the land, air, and sea burger that they sell at McDonald's on late night when you're drunk at like 2 a.m. where I sell the land, air, and sea burger and it's a fish filet and a cheeseburger and a McChicken all smashed into one Big Mac like patty bull situation. What the hell, McDonald's? What are you doing? I mean, that's insane. That is just bananas that they have that available. Wet batter's done, cod filets are ready to go, so we're gonna batter these and throw them in the fryer. And then we're good to go. It's time to build after that. And it's all gonna be downhill from there, or uphill from there. What's the good one? Whatever the one that is good is good, good. All right, it's all good. Let's do this. Seasoned filet goes into the wet batter, get it nice and coated, and just delicately place it in the oil. This is great for like a, if you wanna make fish and chips too. Same technique, works great. Five minutes, maybe less, and you're good to go. Give him a hot cod dance. It's more of a finger gun dance than a, the rib one was like this. This one's more just like, hey, what's up? I'm hot cod guy. Okay, this is done. It's really done, it's falling apart. It's already ready to come out, baby, look at that. And all these like cavernous little holes, that's from the vodka. So all those air bubbles that we created when it evaporated are now like little cavey things in there. It's gonna add so much extra crunch. That's good to go. <laughs> look at these. They're extremely fluffy and crunchy. We're gonna make the spice blend now. So it's like 50 to 75% cayenne. Onion powder, a lot of that too. Garlic powder. I'm just gonna use the rest of this. Paprika. Salt. And then you pour some hot oil in it. So we got our leftover oil that we were using over here. A couple ladles of that. Oh, beautiful. Mix that up. Oh God, I'm so excited. <laughs> You can't tell, I'm stoked. We're gonna toast up some buns. And then we're gonna make our food. Buns go in our pan. Nice buttery pan. <laughs> Look at all these components that we have here. Time to assemble. Gordon Ramsay, I'm just gonna keep quoting you till you notice me, man. We got our bottom bun, nice buttery toasted bun. We're gonna pile it high with this tartar sauce that we've made. Nice big glob of that. And then make it rain, cabbage again. Look at this thing. Look at that. Have you ever seen something fried like that? It's insane. And then we got our Nashville hot. This is just that like spicy, flavorful sludge. And we're gonna lather that all over. I'm just gonna pour it on. Oh, baby. <laughs> and then our homemade dill pickles. One, two, three. That's a beauty. Tartar sauce, other bun as well. Right on top. Does this look lovely? So this is gonna this, this is gonna be gone forever in like five seconds. I'm gonna eat it, and it's just not gonna ever gonna exist anymore. <laughs> but you can make another, and that's the happy part about it. So let's slice in. Oh, did you hear that sound? I sure did. Nice little cross section, perfectly cooked fish. I'm gonna start crying in a second here. This is actually crazy. Look at that. You ready? Here we go. 
Mm. This is game over, dude. All right, get around here. Come eat this. Oh, I'm gonna give her a shot how you had it. My gosh. Where do I even begin? <laughs> it was that good. Mm. This, this might not make any sense, but the, the crunch is fluffy. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. That's <laughs> so good. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm really stoked on that one. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> it's amazing. Hot sandwich mm. dance. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that was episode four. Nashville hot cod sandwich. Yeah, honestly, insanely good. I am so excited about how that turned out. I hope you guys make it at home. As always, I'd like to thank my videographer, Jimbo. And I want to thank you guys for being here. And I love you guys. And every time I think about you, my heart goes boom, 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 boom. It starts to speed up and I get all, you know, butterflies inside. So thank you guys for being here. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Ever. Okay, bye guys. Love you. Freeze frame. Look at that. That's crazy. <laughs>